Hello friends, welcome back to Cosmopolitan Cornbread. My name is Constance and I'm bringing you here into the kitchen today to talk about all-American canners, specifically my all-American canners. And before I get started on that, if you hear that humming sound in the background, our chickens are very happy. It is springtime and they are giving us way more eggs than we can possibly ever use. And so last night I stuck a whole bunch of frozen eggs into the freeze dryer. And so the freeze dryer is going around the corner there. So if you hear that humming in the background, that's what that is. Uh, we do have another location that I think we're going to relocate the freeze dryer to, um, but it hasn't quite happened yet. And so we listen to that sometimes. It's just kind of a background sound. And before I get to talking about the canner, the All-Americans. I wanted to show you what I got in the mail yesterday. So there is a lady that I know named PJ and she lives in Tennessee and she is an artist who does pottery. And gosh, over a year ago, I reached out to her and asked her, do you think you could make a mug for me? And, and I have a few of her mugs, but I said, do you think you can make one for me that is kind of like your rendition of my logo? And she said, absolutely, I would love to do something like that. Well, she ended up having some really serious health problems and wasn't able to get into the studio to do anything for a long time. And yesterday, I got a surprise in the mail. She sent me this beautiful mug. And I just wanted to show you this because she is so talented and I just love the fun, pretty and whimsical designs that she does and so we've got her rendition of my logo the hen it with the spoon and then she put wheat around both sides and then it's got all of these beautiful little flowers all over it and on the back it says cosmopolitan cornbread so i just loved it and you should check out all of the just pretty things that she makes. Like I said, I've got several of her pottery mugs. You've seen them in my videos, I'm sure, from time to time. And I will put a link to her shop in the video description down below. She is back in the studio doing pottery again, and so she does uh, periodic shop updates where you can get some of her creations. So believe it or not, I actually got not one, not one, but two All-American canners in the mail this week. And I am super excited. Now, one of them I've been wanting to get for a really long time, ever since I saw them come out with these and decided, you know what, I'm just gonna splurge and I'm going to get one. And that's what's in this box right here. We'll open that up in a little bit. But first, I wanna talk about this one. So if you've been around for a little while and you've seen me do pressure canning and talk about my canners, you know that I have the great big 930 All-American canner as well as the uh, 921 All-American canner that you see right here. Well, when I originally ordered this one, they accidentally sent me the wrong one and I sent it back. But right after I sent it back, I got to thinking, you know what? I wonder if maybe I shouldn't have just kept it. And so I decided to go ahead and order the second new All-American canner. Because my 921 here that you see, I use this pretty often and I will use it side by side a lot of times with my 930, especially if I'm doing a really big batch of something like a whole bunch of carrots or a whole bunch of potatoes. I will often purchase cases of fresh organic produce from Asia Standard. And of course, I'll want to can it all at once so that it doesn't go bad. You know, fresh produce doesn't keep forever. And so you'll often see me using my 930 with my 921 side by side so that I can get everything canned. But a while back, before we actually moved here to Arkansas, quite a while ago actually, there was a little mishap with my 921 here. You see, in our Alabama kitchen, I have this antique table that I used as a kitchen island. 
and I stored my All-American canners up underneath there. They were easily accessed, but out of the way when I wasn't using them. And one day I had used my 921, and I remember that someone was helping me clean up in the kitchen. I think I had family that was visiting or something. I just remember there being a lot of people in my kitchen and somebody helped put things away. What I didn't realize until later was that when someone was helping me and put my canner back where I stored it underneath that table, several months later when I reached under that table to pull this canner out, I immediately wondered why is this canner so heavy? Only to discover that whoever had helped me and put the canner away didn't pour the water out. And so there was old water still in this canner, still had particles and residue from food being canned, and I was sick. I cleaned the canner out, I scrubbed it down really well, and it seemed like it was fine, it was just discolored. However, the discoloration has been really bugging me, and especially down in the bottom of the canner, because when I look very closely and I run my finger across it, it might just be some sort of mineral buildup, but I'm not positive. My concern is it might actually be pitting. And if it is pitting in the pressure canner, in the surface of the pressure canner, my 921 now may not be structurally sound. I want to err on the side of caution and I'm not going to use this canner, which is why I decided to go ahead and get this one. Now, when I ordered this one, I actually meant to get a 921, but I guess I clicked the wrong button and I accidentally got a 925, which is fine. Now, when you put them side by side, and if you raise this one up level with, with the other one, they're almost identical. There's very little difference in these two. Um, they hold the same number of jars and everything. It's just a minor size difference. And so I didn't realize I had ordered the wrong one until it came, but that's all right. We're just going to go with it. And so I have now added the All-American 925 here to my kitchen. But now I mentioned I've gotten two new All-American canners this week. And that brings me to this one, which I am so incredibly excited about. And I thought, you know what, let's just do an opening and we'll open this one together. Because like I said, ever since I saw them come out with these, I have been wanting to get this. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab something to cut and we will open this one up together. But before I wrap up this video, I will share with you exactly what I'm gonna do about this 921 canner. I have been wanting to get one of these ever since I saw them come out with the colorful line. There's, you know, blue, there's yellow, orange, the saffron. I almost bought the orange one because I just thought it was so pretty. But green is my favorite color and it kind of matches my kitchen this way. Now there you can see the side by side. Actually, let me bring you right in front 
So the beautiful kelp colored candor is a basically a 921. It's just green. And then you've got the 925 right next to it. So right there, you can kind of see the difference between the two. But like I said, I actually accidentally bought the 925. I thought I was just getting another 921 and apparently clicked the wrong button, but that's all right. They hold the same number of jars. There's really not a benefit for having a 925 over a 921, unless really, I would imagine if you are pressure cooking, but I don't pressure cook in these. I only use them for canning, pressure canning, because they are made out of aluminum and I don't cook in aluminum. Um, I don't want aluminum coming into contact with my food whenever it can be avoided. All right, we've got our user manual. We've got our our two canning racks and we've got the weight. So that brings me back to this canner right here, the 921. And I'm going to show you right here inside what it looks like so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about when I talk about the discoloration and the potential for pitting. Discoloration is normal. There is a way that you can get it to come off of there. Um, and it's described actually in the user manual that comes with your All American Canner. But it's just cosmetic, so I haven't really worried about it. However, the spots that are in there are what concern me. And because as I take my fingernail over the edge of those spots, it just feels like there's texture there. And I can't tell if it is some sort of residue buildup from when I, we had that accident and the water was left in there or if it's pitting. Well, if you look in your user manual right here, it talks about discoloration and pitting. And it says disc discoloration of aluminum inside from hard water minerals is harmless. It can be removed by boiling a solution of one tablespoon vinegar or two level tablespoons of cream of tartar in a quart of water or by scrubbing with aluminum cleaner or soap impregnated steel wool cleaning pad. Pitting is caused by the interaction of aluminum with other metals in the presence of moisture. This can be prevented by washing, rinsing, and drying the unit thoroughly after every use, which is what I normally do, except that one time. Always store the pressure cooker, canner, in a dry area when not in use. While pitting is not injurious to health, if pitting becomes present and you detect it in the metal, then we recommend that the unit be returned to the factory for examination. Do not use the unit if pitting is present until it is determined the extent of damage caused by pitting. And so that's what I'm going to do. Since I have the shipping box that both of these canners just came in, it's the perfect opportunity for me to send my 921 back to the factory in Wisconsin have them inspect this and tell me, is this canner still safe? Because when it comes to a pressure canner, it's not something that you should play games with. You don't want to play around with that. Anybody who's familiar with canning knows that safety is first and foremost when it comes to using a canner, no matter what kind of canner it is. And so uh, there is a phone number here in the manual. I'm going to go ahead and call the factory and tell them what happened and find out exactly what I need to do to ship this back, like as far as address and things like that. If 
after they have inspected this canner and if they determine that it is pitting and it is not safe to use, I'm just going to ask them if they can recycle it because there's nothing I could do with it if it is damaged. All American canners are an investment. They really are. And I know I have a few of them, but if they are well taken care of, I can pass these on to my kids someday. And so I see these as an investment and they will definitely be getting used. My, my canning situation here, the All Americans, it was kind of a good news, bad news situation, but um, hopefully this 921 does check out. You no, know, I thought it was mineral buildup, but I'm just not positive. And so it's just not a risk that I'm willing to take. And before I wrap this up, I did have one more thing that I wanted to share with all of you is that the March Canning Madness open collaboration is winding up. The finale for the collaboration will be on Sunday, March 31st. And in that video is where there will be a giveaway taking place for a pressure canner, canning lids, and other goodies. So be sure to check out that video on Sunday. That is it for today. Thank you for joining me here again in the Homestead Kitchen. Lord willing, I will talk to y'all next time.